Miari Ustakasakula. Hola y buenas tardes. Hello and good evening. This is Edba, aka Phoenix Daino, playing some Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Ustakasakabo, everybody watching. So today I'm going to be playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, as you can see on the screen. I'm doing this through my main TikTok account, which is Taino Library, because I don't meet the requirements on my gamer account, which you can find oop, over here. I forget it's inverted, which is at Phoenix Taino. You're supposed to have a minimum of 3000 followers and I only have about 1200. So if you're not already following me on that page, please go do so, because I would love to be able to stream on that page in instead of this one, because um, this one's dedicated to Taino uh teaching about Taino people and culture where they're blah, 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 if I can English while the alternate account is is strictly for my video game escapades but um for those of you who don't know yesterday I started playing um Tears of the Kingdom on my alternate Nintendo account because I had already started playing it on my main Nintendo account and had gotten decently far but I didn't have the option to you know record myself playing until yesterday when I got a video capture card. So I kind of, I went ahead and restarted so I can record all the cutscenes and all that fun stuff, right? <sighs> I fucked myself up, okay? What had happened was, <laughs> um, I, have, I have two different Nintendo Switch consoles. There's the one that I call my family console, which my kids and everybody plays on. Um, and I ended up getting a Switch Lite gifted to me because I never got a chance to play on the family console. Um, there's five of us in my family. So imagine how hard it can be to just get an hour in when everybody's fighting to be able to play their games. So um, before I got my Switch Lite, I had started playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. I had gotten to like, I think, um, Divine Beast Vana Boris and ended up stopping. And, you know, getting Zelda Breath of the Wild on my Switch Lite, downloading the data and continuing to, to play the game. And I beat the game on my Switch Lite. When I started playing Tears of the Kingdom, which is only on our family Switch because we can't afford two copies right now, um, it linked my Breath of the Wild game on that console, which was not finished, to my Tears of the Kingdom. So in Tears of the Kingdom, when you get to the stables... Um, you're able to, any horses that you tamed in Breath of the Wild, you're able to, to you know, get on and ride in Tears of the Kingdom. Except on my list, Ganon's horse wasn't there, even though I had already tamed it. So I was, I was like, oh, this must be part of the game. Because I remember I was talking to another character and they mentioned a giant horse or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I must have to like refine and, and tame him. Um, turns out that's not the case because when my husband got to that point in his, in his Tears of the Kingdom game, Ganon's horse was on his list of horses in the stable. And I was like, well, what the fuck? What's going on with mine? That's when I realized the, my Tears of the Kingdom game was linked to my incomplete Breath of the Wild game. So I got on my light. I, you know, uploaded that completed game into the cloud, got on the family switch and then downloaded that to be able to have Ganon's horse and any other relevant save data from my completed game. That literally erased all of my progress in Tears of the Kingdom. Literally everything I did is gone now. So I am restarting today. So y'all are gonna see me, if y'all if were watching my last live, y'all, um, my live yesterday, which was two different lives, um, technically. But if y'all watch that, you're going to see me do a lot of the same shit again today for that reason. Who's <sighs> that? I'm supposed to run my ears or something. I don't remember. But yeah. So let's get started. Let's get started.
We've been standing for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Another thing you guys will notice is that whenever there's a cut scene, I'm not going to say anything um, because I don't want to talk over since I'm recording this stream right now. Mr. Yalfoy, oh cool. Yes, I am a gamer. I'm not professional by any means. Uh, you watch me long enough, you will you will see me inadvertently unalive myself multiple times. But yes, I love gaming. <laughs> We'll keep going. It's coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. <laughs> nice. Have you played this game, or what games? What games do you generally tend to play? I tend to avoid like war-like games, but I can't sit here in front like I haven't played Call of Duty or anything like that. Um, I like I like adventure games, like like this one, obviously. Also, I'm going to be reading out loud um, all of the captioning that isn't spoken for anybody who is hard of hearing or visually impaired or otherwise, you know, um, needs for stuff like this to be a little bit more accessible to them. So earlier she said Link, and now she's saying the Master Sword. It must be sensing something. Ooh, what could it be? Danger. I knew we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of the calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Mm -hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. We must be careful as we move deeper. Well, no shit. <laughs> Link, look here. Should I do voices for, for each different character? I think I'm going to do that. Just to keep things interesting. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? Yeah, probably. Many games, but I'm a Nintendo nerd. Same, same. This is, yes, this is the new Zelda. This is Zelda Tears of Kingdom. These carvings, I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen the designs. Ra uh, blah, 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 rewind. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous. I can English. <laughs> they had, had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none gives us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Ooh. Thank you for the rolls. I appreciate it. Is this what the Zonai look like? They seem so different than us and such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. All I got to say is they're brave because if I saw a bunch of miasma coming from someplace, I would go like the opposite direction.
Look at these mirrors. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these mirrors depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier, a Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. My ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. He seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during the studies. And then this it shows the demon king and a fierce battle against him. If the creature depicted here really does represent the demon king, then. Oh. Incredible! This mural must be the Great War recorded in the royal histories! This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it! Look! This is a huge discovery! All right then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and clip. Oh. It looks like the rest of the mirrors are obscured. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Y'all see that shit? The smoky, you know, red and clearly not good for you shit? Yeah. Yeah, no. In real life, I would not be. Sure, let's go deeper. Let's investigate. That 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 is some fill in the blank. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. I saw something like that before. Weird black ball of smoky mist. Ooh, in real life? Mm -mm. No, thank you. I, I, I'm good. Nope. I see shadow people and I'm like, I don't see nothing. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, ain't no way. And for anyone wondering why I'm replaying this again, um, just go to my gamer account, Phoenix Taino. The first video after the pinned ones is me explaining what I explained at the beginning of this live. I just don't want to keep repeating myself. But yeah, if you know Z and or just, you know, want your curiosity quenched, your third, the curious thirst quenched, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I, I did post a video before I went live.
We got it. If y'all, by the way, for people who are just coming in, if y'all like say hi or whatever, and I don't respond, it's either because I'm in the middle of playing the game and I didn't see your comments, or there's a cutscene or something, and I'm trying to be quiet because I'm trying to record all my, my gameplay basically. And I don't want like my voice over um the cutscenes. So what is this place? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. Okay, so I did play this before and clicked on not yet because that's the second option. All not yet does is let you go back and run around and there's nothing back there that you need. I did all of that before. So if you decide to play this game, um, you can just go straight to okay. So don't, don't, don't kill yourself and waste time looking for cool shit you may have missed because ain't nothing there, <laughs> okay? Morning, Chris. What's happening? What's going on?
Link, finally wait. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Sorry, I keep making this face because I'm reading the comments about uh, Lockwood and Co. Um, from Ness. It's so good. It's the same gritty spookiness as like Midnight Club. I haven't seen Midnight Club either, but I'm I'm intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued. Okay, so we gotta get the Master Sword. Again. So on the screen it reads Decayed Master Sword. Looks like it's only a level one. The sword that seals the darkness, its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. I keep calling it Miasma because I watch anime, but it's technically called gloom. All the smoky, red, black looking stuff that can't be good for your health. Sorry, I'm trying to... Apologies in advance, by the way. My kids are still asleep, so once they get up and start moving around, you're probably going to hear them. I hear one of them moving around now. It might be more than one, but at least one of them is up and moving around. Midnight Club is really good. Visually, the writing, the acting, but not going to lie, I cried. Oh, that reminds me of the Stargate portals. Right? And die. On the screen it says landing in water, even from a great height, will prevent you from taking fall damage. Which is always a good thing, because nobody wants to uh, lose health. Archaic legwear was in this chest, level one, simple classic legwear. They're well worn and showing their age, but they've still got a few good years left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. And some things that pop up on the screen with the controller, just like what buttons you have to press to do the thing that, you know, it's telling you to do before I do anything. I'm going to equip this. That's better. And see, this is the wild part of the game. <laughs> you get to jump from crazy heights. Well, that wasn't necessarily a jump, but you know, whatever. I did that yesterday too. <laughs> the same exact thing.
Let me get my phone charger. It's about to die. I do that in all the Elder Scrolls. Even back in Marrowing days, find the highest point in heat. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what I did in Breath of the Wild. I would just climb to the highest point and then like yeet myself and glide um, to the next tower or whatever. Um, I very much was like, if I could avoid having to go the long way, and just like yeet myself to the next location, I'm I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. You know, work smarter, not harder. Tree branch level two. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. And the buttons that you got to press for that to be equipped. Look, a stick. And another stick. Because I'm going to have to fight soon. And for folks just coming in, if you happen to have been watching me yesterday play this game, I had to restart. I already explained why, but if you're just brain thirsty, which is our the new word, the new way to say curious, um, it's been decided in this live. Um, but yeah, if you're curious, just uh, go to my gaming profile, which doesn't have enough followers for me to stream on there yet. But um, if you go to, whoop, it's inverted. If you go to my gamer profile, which is at Phoenix Taino, and you can see it up there. Um, I go into what had happened and why I had to, um, start over. You know, it sucks, but at the same time, when, once you've like played a game and then you go back over it, you tend to like find things that you may have missed the first time or not really paid attention to or whatever, because you're so busy just trying to, um, progress the, the story that you're like, um, let me just get to this next point and you may, you just may miss important things. Damn it. Let's try that again. There we go. Got my manzana. So the zone I charge, a material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. It's strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. And I forgot to read about the apple and the mushrooms. The apple is a common fruit eaten by people since ancient times. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effects. And then the sky shroom is a common mushroom that grows near trees on sky islands. Eat it to restore your health. Well, that's why I'm running around collecting this shit. Hold on a minute, baby. See, there's a child. Give me just a second. I got to... I gotta pause the live real quick and tend to my baby. I need no pause. Do what I say. Oh, hold on, Papa. Hold on. There we go. And we're back. Okay. Is there anything worth? Oh, another stick. All the weapons in this game, at least up to the point that I've played before, break relatively easily. So you do a lot of like refining and, and reforging or whatever, all the different weapons. But I'm going to be quiet now because this is about to be somewhat of a cutscene.
Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. This is the Pura Pad. I'm told it's an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. And does. The description for the Pura Pad reads Princess Zelda's prized device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. And then that's basically how you open it. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked. My message has been delivered. And then it only gives you the option to ask, where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held here. But no more. Now it's a lonely place. No one visits. It's so sad. So on the screen it says main quest, new objective, find Princess Zelda. Have you played Children of the Sky? That's half the game. I do love Children of the Sky. I didn't, I never finished it though because I got to a point where I couldn't figure out what else to do and then ADHD and other games kind of like took me away from Children of the Sky. But I did like it. It was a really pretty game. Um, I liked the, the vibe of like it being people connected to nature and you know the theme of the ancestors and you know the stars in the sky and constellations and stuff like that i thought it was really really nice i should probably play it again but at the moment zelda has my time and, and energy Don't worry, little guy. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just breaking shit. None of which will have any rubies in it, annoyingly. Hello, you seem to be new here. Do you intend to use that as a weapon against the soldier constructs? So the character I'm talking to now is a steward construct, and the options are soldier constructs or not really. So we're going to ask about the soldier constructs. Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It's crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. That's not true because that's my fighting style and I do all right. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. So we just press this button and now there's an orange arrow above it, meaning that I've locked on to the steward construct as a target. I think now we got to dive. Oh, that's right. I don't have a map yet. I was going to look at the map to see what I can do next. Oh, a frog. Come here, froggy. Come here, froggy. Come back. Gotcha. Hot-footed frog, a quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. Okay. So we got to... Sacrificarnos un, una rana. Where'd the stick go? It was just here. Oh. No, don't you pick it up, bitch. That was not to give you ideas. Sorry, y'all. I will be cussing as I play the game. So if you're the kind of person that only watches people who are like PG-13... I'm not the one. I'm not the one you want to watch.
Any more shroomy shrooms? I don't see any. Because there's so um, few threats on the Great Sky Island where the Temple of Time is, this is the ideal time really to be um, looking around and collecting things. Oh. Mansana apple to my pen. That's not how it goes. Bojito chicken, Rajina hen. Lapis pencil, e pluma pen. If you don't know that song, don't worry about it. But if you do, you're welcome. So when I pick up things or whatnot that I've already read out loud, I won't read them out loud every time, just the first time. Can't pick up none of these flowers? Oh well. Come here, mushroom. Ooh, spicy pepper. This pepper is exploding with spice. Cook with it to create dishes that will raise your body temperature and help you withstand the cold. Yeesh, we're gonna need that. Did I go that way already? I don't know. And I don't think I went this way yet. This may have been where I came from though. I don't know, we'll see. If there's nothing to break here, I know I've already, you know, explored this section. I don't remember that tree, though. I feel like I would remember that tree. Look at that. That is a korok. And we're going to follow the flower. Until it's white. And that will be the last, its last position. See? cute little guy. You found me. Huh? You're not Hestu, but you see me? I didn't know someone like you could see children of the forest. Well, if you see Hestu, please return this to him. And it's a Korok seed. This small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what might happen. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places too, so you should keep an eye out while you wander. Alrighty, I think I will. I'm going to go ahead. Can I mark this on the map? Yet? Oh, it's already marked. Okay. Okay. I didn't remember that. Okay. I feel like I did go here and here and here. Wait. Yeah, okay. So I did come through here. I just hadn't gone all the way to the right. Now I gotta go left for the new shit. There's usually a third apple. There you are. Okay. Punieta. Link. Quit playing with me. Okay, do anything up there yet? Ah, oh, snap. No, he saw me. It's fine. Let's 
so slowly start getting rid of. No, <laughs> it made me pick it right back up. That's not what I said. Okay. I should probably keep track of all this shit, like where I find the different plants and whatnot. So I just put a bunch of sky shrooms, five, because that's the maximum that you can cook at a time of the different food items you find. And it made a mushroom skewer. This simple mushroom pack skewer has its colorful presentation to thank for its appeal. Hold on. Now on the screen it says to check a meal's ingredient, select it from your inventory, and then select check recipe. So that's one way to remember how to make something. Let me not skip the whole the whole little thing. And this is simmered fruit. This sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmering until tender. I think that's, oh no, there's one more thing I can cook. We're going to skip all that. Now. This is spicy sauteed peppers, and it gives me cold resistance for 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, description says grants low level cold resistance. The spiciness of these sauteed peppers has been broken by the heat for a sweeter taste. Yes, feel that. I'm on a pause with it right now. Got to wait for hit to hit that hyperfixation swing again. Yeah, yeah. That's what ends up happening is I'll play a game and start to lose interest. And then another game will come out and I'll start playing that. And then that new game that has that now has my interest just becomes my hyper focus. And then I completely abandon the previous game. I've done it so many times. Um, like Dragon Ball Xenoverse, uh, Xenoverse 2 specifically, I was I was getting really into that game because I grew up on Dragon Ball, right? And I freaking love it. Uh, but now, now there's Zelda. And uh, yeah, Zelda takes priority. Every time. It's going to take priority every time. For the folks in the chat, if y'all have played Zelda, what was your first Zelda game? Which one was the one that, that, you know, you started playing and got you into the series to begin with? Mine was um, Ocarina of Time. I know there were games before that, but um, I didn't have a gaming console until I was like a preteen. We didn't have, you know, it was back in the day when consoles were a little bit more expensive to have and whatnot. My parents, um, A, were not interested and, and B, um, you know, their money was, was going elsewhere to more important things, right? So um, when we finally, when I finally got my first gaming system, it was the N64. And... The, the, the Zelda game out at the time was Ocarina of Time. And I love that game. Been hooked on Zelda ever since that freaking game. Ocarina of Time for you too? Nice. Nice. I want to say I was like somewhere between 12 and 14. No, somewhere between 11 and 13. Probably is more accurate to say but um yeah and what's funny too is my my little boyfriend at the time um he was always playing ocarina of time and i didn't have an n64 yet so he would call me and be taught be like not really talking to me because he was playing the game right and i would get so annoyed i'm like what why is this game so like got so much of your attention bro you know uh, and then I started playing it. And by the time I got the game and started playing it, we weren't uh, dating anymore. And I was like, man, I get it now. I get it now. <laughs> I don't know why. I should have never doubted you. Oh, another one. How many of you are there? Oh, yeah, I can't block yet. 
I like how he's just standing there waiting for me to finish attacking the other one before he fights me. This is definitely one of the, um, like I said earlier, a good place to learn how to learn all the controls and stuff like that. You know, get your bearings in the game, especially if you haven't played any Zelda games before. No, we don't want that. We're going to drop you and pick up this wooden stick of apples, apples. And then where's that other sucker? There he is. <sighs> this tree's gonna piss me off. You gotta jump the right spot or Link won't climb it. Okay. Those guys came from somewhere important. Like I remember there were some bad guys guarding a chest. My first go at this game. I'm still kind of butt hurt that I have to restart this thing. I had gotten so far. I had almost the majority of the map unlocked and everything. It'll be okay. It's just a game. Just a game. It's just a game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not actually crying. Um, I, I was initially very upset, though, when I realized I had to restart the game. Not, not to the point of crying or anything like that, but I definitely wanted... I was definitely punching the air. Let's just put it that way. I definitely wanted to break things. Um... But I did not, you know. We've matured past uh, letting our anger take over. Cause I'm an Aries. When I'm angry, it's scary. Okay, like I know that people have criticized me whenever there have been incidents on TikTok for you know not being more. I don't know. I don't know. Cause I think I'm pretty freaking passionate. But you know there were. Some incidents where people felt like I should have said more or done more or whatever. And I'm just like, look, y'all don't understand. I'm this calm and chill for a fucking reason. <laughs> like, I know, I know how I can be when I let my anger take over. I will hurt your feelings. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, um, Okay, so on the screen is the rusty broadsword, which is what I just picked up, and it's a level five. The description reads, this once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. And there's the shield. This is an old wooden shield, level two. An aged, worn out wooden shield. It can withstand lighter attacks such as arrows. And then it tells you how to how to get your shield out and all that on the screen, which I already know how to do. So moving along, I got to the Temple of Time much quicker this time than I did the first time. But then again, I kind of have a better feel of like the layout of the area. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to start you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am wrong. to enter a place filled with sacred light. Of course, 
Why not visit the shrines on this island? Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Alrighty then. 